Hello. Hello, 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 people. It's that time again. Yes, Sturdy Reviews. Or Sir Sturdy presents Sturdy Reviews, and it's time for Megan. And guys, this shit was good. It was fun. It was funny. Um, it had like a uh I guess you can say like a creep factor the way the doll was, but it wasn't scary. And I can see this being something to where it maybe draws a younger generation into horror. Boys and girls, definitely, but maybe gear toward the girls a little more, of course, because the doll, but still, I still say both. And I think that's an awesome thing, for one. And it was it was done very well. This was done very 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 well as a matter of fact which this wasn't the greatest movie but i liked it this is <laughs> and again i know i'm not i'm not saying anything wild anything crazy anything outlandish i'm just saying um this is definitely better than the chucky movie that came out in what 2018 2019 2019 i believe it's better than that of course it is, but uh, no, this was, I, I I did enjoy this movie, and I'm hoping that there's a sequel or sequels to this because it was that good. It's it's definitely worth for those of you who enjoy the theater experience. This is definitely worth the theater experience. I went there with the wife earlier. We had a great time seeing this movie and just having so much fun. This is such a fun freaking movie. There's some people in there with their kids. Like this is this is a movie you can probably bring your kids to. I'd say if you allow your kids to watch horror, I'd say this would be fine. Maybe go and watch it yourself once to see, because I don't know what you allow your children to watch when it comes to horror. If you allow your children to watch horror, but I feel like this for me, I would say yes. I'll say maybe again. It depends on the kid. I don't know the age. I don't even want to throw age out there. It depends on you and your children. But I'd say go see it. Maybe you adults out there that have you know, children that are into horror and you only let them watch a select few things, go in there, watch this, see what you feel about it. If you feel they should watch it, I say bring them right to the theater to watch this. It's a good, fun theater experience. And uh, this is the first, so this is the first movie that we watched in theaters, January 6th. No, sorry, January 7th. What is today's date? <laughs> January 7th, because it came out the 6th. January 7th, 2023. And... Yeah, so this is cool. This is cool. Um, There's some wild shit, though. This doll gets down. This doll gets down. She is fucking vicious. Do not fuck with her. And, like, basically what they do is they attach. She's basically like attached to the young girl in this movie. The little girl in this movie. I believe her name was Katie. Could be wrong, but uh, I'll try to pop the name up around here. Um, and like they like she put her finger into her hands and they're just like in her whatever. And they got to the point where she like if she thought somebody was a, someone or something was a threat, like you know animals like dogs, she would get rid of them. And by get rid of them, I think you know what I mean. But it was just done so cool in this movie. Like it, it, it was fun. It was like I said, I'm going back to it. It was fun, really fun. Um, and it's something that like, as much as I wouldn't mind seeing this movie being darker, because I would love that, of course, of course, of course. But at the same time. I'm happy with it is being the way it is. And the reason why I say that is I always want the youth to get into horror. And if this is one of those movies where it's kind of like that little slasher thing, but not too crazy. It's, I mean, it has some cool, crazy shit, but it's not too wild, too crazy, too outrageous. I'm like, if that, you know, I think this is a cool, again, my opinion, my opinion only. I think this is a cool way to, you know, kind of bring them in. Even if you wait till they're in the double digit ages, like say 10, 11. I think it's a cool time. Maybe a little sooner. I mean, I started myself at five, but I'm not suggesting five for the stuff I started out with. <laughs> Maybe something a lot softer, but, um, you know, it is what it is with that, right? We all love this genre. I love this genre. It's my favorite. And yes, wrap enough popcorn and pint shirt because I will be going live. Well, by the time this comes out, this 
Popcorn and Pants episode will already be over with, but going live to do our episode. We're reviewing the movie Halo um, Unto Dawn, I believe, and talking about One Upstate Gaming. Shout out to the homie Anthony Rossi. Some awesome gaming stuff that's in the Capital Region that you guys should go check out. And anyway, I'll drop the link right down there in the description. But uh, let me give you guys this rating and get on out of here so I can get ready for this phone podcast. Honestly, guys, I've been thinking about this since from when I was finished the movie till just at this point, and I think I'm gonna give this movie. You know what? This movie was solid. It was fun. Um, you know what? For what it was trying to do, I feel like it did everything right, for the most part. And with that said, I'm going to give this one and I know she's looking at me. It's fucking creepy, but I'm not scared of her. I'm gonna give this one an eight and a half. I'm gonna give this one an eight and a half. I think it's a, it is a real solid film. And again, parents go out there, watch it yourselves. And you know, for you with younger children, I don't know how, what the age limit would be, but again, see if you would let your children watch this. And if you would, I'd say, give them the theater experience because this is worth the theater experience. And I feel like this is one of those, I, well, I, I guess you could say with any movie, maybe any horror movie because we're talking horror, but I feel like this is definitely one of those movies where if they go at a certain age, maybe between maybe, I don't know, seven, eight years old, whenever kids can start remembering shit from, you know, I don't know what age that is, five, six, seven, whatever. But let's say seven, eight years old. This is something that they'll remember, especially if it's like their first or second horror movie brought them to. And this is, this is almost, this may be good enough for them to remember, you know, say 10, 15 years down the road. Like, oh yeah, my mom or my dad or uncle or aunt, anybody took me to see this and this was so cool, blah, blah, blah. This is one of those, in my opinion. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to give this an eight and a half. Um, definitely worth a theater watch. Definitely worth a theater watch. Again, if you're someone who enjoys going to the movies, definitely worth a theater watch and that's what i'm gonna be letting you guys know for this, when i go to the movies uh, if in my opinion if it's worth it or not in my opinion you don't have to go by that because i'm sure i know we all have different opinions but in my opinion this is definitely worth a theater watch and with that said guys i'm gonna skedaddle like cattle you guys have a great night um peace I'll see you in your nightmares and see what's coming up next. See what's coming up next in Horror Search 30 and see what, you know, see what happened. See what happened. Peace again. Peace again to all of you. Hmm. <laughs>